The National Women's Soccer League just announced punishments, fines, and lifetime bans after a three months long investigation into sexual misconduct allegations across multiple clubs, racing Louisville FC included. Thanks so much for joining us here at 4. I'm Brooke Hash and for Chick McAllister. Now, the Yates report, as you know, detailed sexual misconduct by former racing head coach Christy Hawley, which was later corroborated by a joint investigation with the NWSL and the Players Association. That report said Hawley focused his efforts on former racing defender Aaron. And Simon engaging in inappropriate touching, verbal abuse, and retaliation. That joint investigation also said racing did not properly vet Holly before hiring him and failed to address player concerns in regards to his conduct after his firing. And today we are getting that first look at the punishment that the league is administering to the club. Our sports director Ken Spencer is here now. How massive is this punishment? Well, first and foremost, Christy Holly has been banned from working in the NWSL and unlike others, he has no chance of ever working in the league again. As far as racing itself, the club has been fined $200,000 and racing is required to hire a sporting staff such as coaches and a general manager who are completely separate from the men's team, Louisville City FC and the staff must report directly to ownership. Racing has already announced they are searching for a general manager, but the club has yet to make a hire despite the league draft taking place later this week. The NWSL Players Association released this statement today, quote, this marks a critical step towards holding clubs and team leaders accountable for their actions or inactions that comp compromised and betrayed player safety. As for the club, they said they are not commenting or releasing a statement in regards to today's news. When it comes to the entire league, Holly was not the only person to receive a permanent ban. Three others, three others got the same punishment and five other clubs also received penalties along with racing. Some of this not surprising. No, I don't think any of it is surprising, especially when all the results from that joint investigation came out in December.